Well, I, I don't know that I can honestly say that I'm skilled enough that I actually read my audience well, but I think there's something that begins to happen. Mm -hmm. And you can sense the connection that's being made. And if they're, if they're giving energy back with their attention, then that will get me much more involved and connected. I had to give a speech just last week. When was that? Last Friday? Um, yeah, it was two days ago. And the audience was very tired. They scheduled too many speakers. Mm -hmm. And I was about the fourth speaker of five. And the three speakers before me who, and oh, actually there was a big, a long introduction, three speakers before me, and then mm -hmm. two, two keynotes. And um, a small group, um, uh, and uh, the three speakers before me who I think had been scheduled for <laughs> Everything okay? All right. <laughs> okay, I'll back up then for the editors. So the three people who were scheduled before me, I think, had been scheduled for 10 minutes each, but they mm -hmm. took more like 15 to 20 minutes each. Mm -hmm. So when I got up, I could tell the audience was really tired. And some of the older people in the audience were actually starting to do this. <laughs> So I really cut my speech dramatically from, they'd asked me to speak for 30 minutes, but I really only spoke for about 15 minutes because there was nothing that I could do in that 15 minutes to engage those really tired mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. And then the person after me did the same thing. Mm -hmm. So 